Hey guys, so in this video, we'll see how to split a data set into a training set and a test set. And what exactly is a training set and a test set? I've discussed it in a different video. And uh, here in this data set, we are, uh, we are recommending hotels based on their tariff uh, rating and customer review. And you can see on the right hand side is the, is the predictory variable, uh, which, which depends on the rest of the variables, tariff rating and the reviews and i've already imported the data set in python and uh, i've already divided the columns the w data set which you can see on the right side is the predictory variable i have i have also done the encoding for it uh, since it's a cat since it's a categorical variable and on the left side you can see the see the rest of the you can see the rest of the independent variables and we have to split it into a training set and a test set okay so let's start so I have imported the data set here and uh, here X X has all the independent variables and I have uh, and I gave a minus one because just to exclude the predatory variable and to put it in a different variable which is Y and uh, the four the number four is the index uh, of the recommended variable uh, which has which has uh, which has values yes and no and which uh, and to encode that uh, i have also used the label label encoder right uh, you can find all the videos on them if you don't if you don't understand how to uh, import a data set and how to encode a, and and how to encode a categorical variable and what is a data frame right i have done all that in uh, different in different different videos you can find it on the playlist and yes z and w are the data frames uh to represent x and y because x and y has also objects right and here the objects are not supported only the float and the integer variables are supported the objects are not supported so they are represented by z and w so let's start we need to import the package from sklearn dot cross validation from there we'll import train test and split and then we need to give our names we need to give the names of the variables uh, x train oh sorry then x test then y train and y test equals to train test split then x and y and then we have to give the test size okay okay so test size we mostly give 0.2 and 0.3 okay well it all depends on the requirement but uh, for normally 0.2 and 0.3 are taken and uh, uh, what what happens is 20% 0.2 means that 20% of the data will be put to the test and the rest of them will be put into the train okay and uh, yes so we'll so we mention the ratio here uh, test size here will give 0.2 right and then uh, we will since yes we will do the execution and since the since the objects are not supported we will use the data frames z train equals to pd dot data frame x train so z train is the frame for x train right and z test equals to pd dot data frame x test and w train is the free is the frame for y train and w test is the is the data frame for the y test okay so we'll do the execution yes so yes we have uh, all the data frames of the test and train variables you can see right the w we have the w train variables and the w test and z test and z train okay w is for w is the data frame for the predictory variable and z is for the other or the rest of the rest of the independent variables okay and we have uh, done the split right and uh, so that's all for this video and uh, just keep following other videos to see what we actually do with this train 
crane and test set right and uh, it, it, it's a very basic step when we are creating a machine learning model right and uh, do check out the video where where i have explained why we need a training set and a test set and uh, you can check out the rest of the videos as we move forward we'll create how we use it to create how we use it to create the machine learning models okay thank you